Hey, it's Brooks. Uh, checking in with you on the pickup winder. Made a few mods since yesterday. I got my motor mounted. I've got a pulley and a drive belt hooked up to my axle. Everything else is the same. The reed switch counter hasn't changed. Uh, the, the counter is still in the same position. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, it's not the prettiest thing anymore, but I'm going to go ahead and make a new housing for it uh, in the next couple days. I just want to get this thing together and working so I know what I'm up against um, and I know what the design needs are. So what I've done is just temporarily hooked it up. I'm going to wind a half of a humbucker, one of the coils of a humbucker, uh, probably either later tonight or tomorrow on this exact setup as it is. Um, but... I'm going to find out what I need to make improvements for the overall design of the thing, make them all, and come up with the final version. So right now I just figured I'd show you the, uh, the power curve that we picked up with the new motor and the foot controller. These switches aren't hooked up yet. Eventually in the end, in the end version they will be. So let's just look at what we have here. Pretty nice, pretty huge improvement to what we were looking at before. Um, it's it's running at 1500 RPM on the top end, um, and it's a strong bottom end, so we'll be able to do some nice work on the pickups. Nice even tension on the wire, and uh, and hopefully end up with some really nice end product pickups, some great sound and stuff that will fit with the guitars that I'm building. So. Um, Yep, there it is. There's the improvement uh, version 2 you're looking at. Like I said, she's not the prettiest, but I think it'll really get the job done. And I'm going to make the new housing, make the mods, and we'll come back and we'll wind a pickup together next time. Okay? Check in with you then. See ya.